The past few years I've filmed about 300 weddings as a wedding cinematographer and between 150 to 200 other promo, marketing and creative videos using the Canon 5D Mark III since its early release in 2012. Keeping all this in mind, we wanted to keep the same look that we've had with the 5D Mark III, but with the added additional benefit of 4K. I have looked into a few different cameras, but nothing has really left me as satisfied as the 5D Mark III. That was until Canon announced the release of its new 1DX Mark II. The 1DX Mark II is due for release from May onwards this year, and we are very lucky and grateful that National Store and Canon Middle East and Africa has granted us the opportunity to test and explore the new 1DX Mark II before its release date. What I mainly wanted to look at was the creative aspects and how the camera would fit into my fast paced workflow when I film and when I edit. The first thing that I noticed while using the camera was that it was very easy for me to use. Having come from a background and using the 5D Mark III, most of the operational functions on the camera were still the same, and the functions that were slightly different were not that hard to figure out. Next, I wanted to test the camera in its full glory, 4K resolution. I wanted to film and then later compare the footage that I shot in 4K at 50 frames a second, 4K at 25 frames a second, and last but certainly not least, 100 frames a second in full HD. We waited for the sun to set and with a nostalgic magic, the city lights of Dubai lit up all the surroundings. This was the perfect time to test what the camera's performance would be like in low light situations by pushing up the ISO. We also had one of our beautiful friends stand in for us in front of the camera so that I could give the new autofocus feature a bit of a test. I firstly tested the new autofocus tracking on the subject's face. The result was astounding. People in general are usually very skeptical when it comes to autofocus features in DSLRs. However, I can confidently say that this autofocus feature in the 1DX Mark II works 100% and better than any camera that I've ever used in my life. Secondly, I tested the focus options where I literally click with my finger on the camera's touchscreen to select where I want my camera's focus point to be. To end off, I did some tests with the footage that we shot in Adobe Premiere Pro Creative Cloud. I wanted to see if the footage is easy to work with in comparison to footage that we shoot using the 5D Mark III. The 4K was a bit of a challenge for my laptop, however creating sequence in HD and then importing the 4K footage into my sequence, resizing the footage to what I desired and then quickly rendering that footage was a quick workaround solution to this. There are probably other easy solutions that I will work out in the not so far distant future like editing and low res and then simply replacing the footage to export the final as a 4K video if that's what I desire. In conclusion, obviously we've already placed in our order for this new camera. From everything that I've tested in the short space of time that we had to work with the camera, I am more than impressed. I am in awe of the technological advances that Canon has made. Each camera is handmade in Japan and you can literally feel it when you operate it and later work with the footage in post-production. I cannot wait to see 
what we are going to do in the not so far distant future.